Have you ever struggled to memorize Japanese words? It's not easy, isn't it? After you watch this video, you'll find it much easier to memorize Japanese words. Let's find out. Asuka Sensei no Nihongo Dojo. Konnichiwa, Asuka Sensei desu. Hi, I'm Asuka Sensei, your Japanese teacher. Today I'm talking about the effective ways to memorize Japanese words. Many students told me I cannot memorize new words. It's challenging not to forget Japanese words. I know, I had the same feeling when I learned English. I looked up the exact words in the dictionary again and again. I thought, Oh, I'm too slow. I was so frustrated. I've read many psychology books to find answers and tried various methods. And I found these three steps. So let me share. One is make it a routine. Routine means the action you usually do without any effort, like brushing your teeth or taking a shower. Let's make memorizing Japanese words one of your routines. Just give three minutes or even one minute to revise the words you've learned every day. But you may say it needs a lot of willpower, doesn't it? In the beginning, it's tough, yes. But once it becomes a part of your routine, you'll find it much easier to do. Imagine your Japanese vocabulary is expanding day by day. Just a bit of patience helps a tiny seed to grow a big tree. Number two, practice with multiple senses. Many learners just stare at the word list. It's not practical because you use only one sense, vision. If you use multiple senses, your brain is stimulated more and it's much easier for you to remember these words. Read the words out loud, listen to the words and write them down in your notebook. You've already used the senses of sight, hearing and movement. For writing, any notebooks work fine. It's a bit of promotion, but I publish these vocabulary notebooks. With these notebooks, you can write mm -hmm, Japanese words on the Japanese style squared paper side and English meaning on the lined sheet side. It's handy and your Japanese writing is also improved. There are five cover variations so you can choose your favorite one. You can find the links in the description section. Number three is use flashcards. Reading, listening, and writing is a process to absorb new words. Flashcards helps you check which word you've already memorized and focus on some words you still cannot recall. You can use cards like these or a flashcards app. My recommendation is Anki. Anki is a mighty flashcards app. You may find it a bit difficult at the beginning, so Google it and you can find how to use it. Once you get used to it, just create a new card when you find a new word. But you may think it takes time and energy to create fresh cards. Yes, that's true. Creating fresh cards is time consuming. That's why not many people haven't started using fresh cards yet. But here is the good news. You can download the pre-made flashcards. There are many Anki decks you can find online. Some are good, but others, mm -hmm. So you need to search for the high quality one. I created a bonus Anki deck for the readers of Japanese language learning guide for travelers. This is a book for absolute beginners to learn practical Japanese which you can use during your next Japan trip. After you buy it, you can download the Anki flashcards and start using them immediately. It covers more than 700 words with audio, which is enough for the starter level vocabulary's solid foundation. Imagine you can skip all the hard work to create 700 plus flashcards with audio and memorize these words with ease. 
this may not be for everyone of course so you don't have to buy it it's only for those who are interested in building fundamental Japanese vocabulary you can find the link below there you've learned the essential three steps to memorize Japanese words effectively number one is make it a routine number two is practice with multiple senses and number three is use flashcards you may believe it or not but just give it a try you'll find it much easier to memorize Japanese words hope it helps if you find this video is helpful please press a like button and let me know you will make my day if you are interested in Japanese study tips Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell mark. You can get the notification so you won't miss the new tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Mata ne!